Our car is looking pretty good. We need to now start refining the design of our CO2 dragster. Well, let's make it look like a piece of wood, first of all. So let's go here and do a right mouse click. And we'll say edit material, and we're going to go ahead and select Bossel Wood on this. So we'll come down here and select Bossel Wood. We'll hit apply and close. Now, oh, look here. Looks like Bossel Wood, except one problem. The wood's going the wrong direction. When you actually get a CO2 block, the wood actually goes this direction, or the grain goes that, you know, from the front to the back, not up and down like you see here. Well, it's, a lot of people don't change it. For me, it's quite annoying, so I like to change mine. So I'll come over here and I'll click, do a right mouse click on that, and I'll say appearance. Oh, first of all, let me show you how to get to that. Uh, when you remove an appearance, let's get out of that. When you want to change or add an appearance, like we got boss of wood here, and we want to do something to it, we come over here to these two little stripes, these little angle, it's right here. And we'll do a right mouse click on that and we'll say appearance. So at this time I can click on appearance and then I can come down here and I can change the actual mapping angle of the actual texture you see on the car. So we'll change that to 90 degrees. And as soon as we change that to 90 degrees and we check this off, our wood now goes in the elongated way. That looks a whole lot better. So again, there you are refining your design. Now just as a real quick uh, test here, We've changed this to Bossel Wood as it says here. Let's come up and go to our Evaluate command and look at Mass Properties. Mass Properties is real important, especially when we're setting out our design. We're looking at 21, a little over, a little over 21 grams of weight. Now remember our targeted weight is 35 grams, so we got to count for wheels, axles, bushings, bearings, uh, or you know just washers and uh, axle clips as well. So and also paint. And so we got right now a weight of 21 grams. If we need to take more off, we can do so. If we need to add more, we can do so as well. So we're going to go ahead and X out of that. So that's what our car looks like now. Now let's go ahead and rotate around to the back of the car. Okay. Now what I want to address is the back of the car here. And I'm going to tell a story about my trip uh, back to Texas this summer and how the back end of a vehicle really will play with how the performance of the car actually will go. We'll come back to this in a moment. All right, here's one of the ways we're going to refine our design and also potentially take off a little more weight and also improve our aerodynamics of our vehicle dramatically. Now, back to the story I was telling you about when I went to Texas this summer. When I went to Texas this summer, I was having my little truck with uh, two kayaks on the back and on top of it, and I was towing a small teardrop camper trailer. Well, I was going down the road, and I wasn't going too fast, I didn't have to hurry, and I got behind an 18-wheeler truck. Well, the 18-wheeler truck had a big flat end like you see here on the back of this tractor. So the back end of a truck is just basically a flat wall. So I got my truck behind that truck and that 18-wheeler, and my truck was having all kinds of trouble. The wind and the turbulence coming off the back of that 18-wheeler was causing my little pickup and trailer to rock all over the road. Well, the same principle applies to a CO2 dragster. We really need to clean up our air coming off the back of our design of our car. So we're going to do that initially by coming over here to features and we're going to select a chamfer. So a chamfer will put an angle, uh, an angle onto the side of our car uh, at, at whatever we specify. Now what I'm going to do on this, on this chamfer, is I'm going to set up a couple of different things. One, here let's get out of this real quick. I want to make sure I got the correct edge. And also I need to rebuild my drawings. I haven't done that. Rebuild my model, excuse me. So I'll come up here to Chamfer, and I'll select this right here. I'm going to select that one line. Okay, now it comes in at 4.5 uh, millimeters in 75 degree angle. Well, I already experimented with this to make sure I had it the way I wanted, so I wouldn't waste a lot of time trying to figure it out. But let's do that. Let's go ahead on our design and key in 4.5 or 5 or 4.75, whatever you like and we'll key in an angle of 75 degrees. Now, I'm not going to do just one. I'm going to go ahead and do two at the same time. Ah, oh, it's not showing that I can do that. Well, okay, that's fine. We'll go ahead and delete that one and accept this one. So it comes in and puts in an angle cut underneath our car. Well, let's rotate this around, and let's go ahead and rebuild our model, and let's do it again. So, with the same settings, I'm going to go ahead and click on this, and let's see what this one's doing. Ah, it's kind of a weird looking shape. That's all right. All we have to do is just flip our direction and it'll go down the side like the other one did. Not a problem, so we'll accept that. All right, now it looks kind of like a backwards arrow. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put a fillet to make a nice 
aerodynamic smooth transition on the side of the car. So we'll go ahead and select fill it and we'll click on this one line right here. And again, I've already preset that to 96 degrees on the radius of that fillet. Let's see if we can get both of them at the same time. Grab that one as well. Sure enough, I was able to do that. So we'll go and accept that as well. So we'll accept that one fillet. And look at the transitional effect on the bottom end of our car. That looks really, really nice. Okay, we'll come back to this in a moment. All right, now we got this nice looking uh, rear end that we've set up and it's gonna really clean up the air really nicely behind our dragster. What we wanna do now is maybe clean up this sharp angled edge right here. So I'm gonna try, I have not done this yet, so I'm gonna experiment. I'm gonna try putting in a fillet right here. Well, 96 millimeters is quite a bit. Let's try five. Let's see what happens with that. Uh, looks pretty good. What I'm really trying to concentrate on here is creating a really nice edge on this part of the dragster right here so I can later come back and fill it around the CO2 chamber. So let's uh, see what happens when we uh, go up a little bit on that. Wow, that's 15 degrees. That looks pretty good. Let's see if I can get two at the same time. Ah, yes I can. All right, that's really nice. It gives kind of a really cool looking aerodynamic effect on the front of our dragster. We'll go ahead and accept that. And let's see what we get. Oh yeah, that looks great. Okay, well, now with that done, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come in and rebuild my model and save it. Again, you remember with the, uh, the traffic light here, you can always do a control B like the, like the uh, message says. All right, well, let's do some more experimenting. So we're going to come in and do another fillet. It probably won't work because it's based on our last setting. Well, that says 15 millimeters. That's quite a bit. The tool we're going to actually cut this dragster out with is a custom tool that I had made over at a uh, place that makes custom drilling bits. We're going to use a long eighth inch ball mill. So what we're going to do on that is put the radius of that ball mill in. If it's an eighth of an inch, it's going to be point three. excuse me, start over again. I can say point one two five of an inch, remember SOLIDWORKS is bilingual divided by two, so it can do both imperial units or English units as well as metric at the same time. So we're gonna put that in, let's see what we get. Yeah, it's, uh, it says it's coming in at, uh, let's see, 1.5875 millimeters. Well, that's pretty nice, actually. I'm gonna kinda go with that. I'm gonna see if I can get the one on the other side over here. Uh, it's not like an hour. So let's go ahead and take that one out, spin this guy around, zoom out, look at it, and say, let's give it a shot, say okay. So it took that one. Okay, let's try the other side now. Let's see if that'll work. We'll do the same exact thing, and we'll grab that particular one. And yes, it will. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You have, with fillets and chamfers, you have to kind of experiment until you get the result that you like. So we'll go ahead and accept that. Now, again, thinking in terms of my CO2 block, uh, before I go further and try to fill it around these wheel wells, I want to rotate up to the bottom of the car and see if I can do a nice fillet underneath the car. So, I'm not sure how that's gonna turn out. We're gonna give it a shot. So, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the fillet command here. Uh, we're gonna say, in this case, 3175. Maybe we'll try an eighth of an inch in millimeters. That would be 3.175. And let's see what it does. Ooh, that looks kinda interesting. I don't like that. Yeah, let's try. Let's see if we can grab the other side as well. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good kind of liking that look, definitely. All right, let's see if we can uh, go out on a limb here and get them, get the one in the front. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that. Let's see if we can get this one too. Okay, let's see what we get. Wow, that is a really exciting looking fillet that we put in there. Really changes the uh, hard edge of our car, gives it more of a rounded look. Let's accept it and see if it'll process it for us. All right, that looks great. So, let's go ahead and save this for now, and we'll come back with this in a moment. With SOLIDWORKS, you can do some really fun things and some really creative things, but we have to make sure that we're following the specifications. It kind of got carried away there with the exciting uh, tricks you can do with fillets. So, let's go back up here, and let's try to edit that sketch and see where we are. Okay, that's the original sketch at the top of Feature Manager. That's fine. What I'm going to do is go ahead and place another center line in there. And I'm going to go vertical and I'm going to go infinite. I'm just going to place it right here. 
Now remember we set our dimensions to be about 241 millimeters, or 242 millimeters, I'm sorry. And I want to make sure that that fillet didn't cause us a lot of problems. So I'll go back to 242 millimeters, and let's do a rebuild, and let's see where our car winds up. Whoops, we got a problem here. So let's do a quick measurement to see how far off we are. We may have to go back and uh, tweak that uh, fillet we did on that last thing we did. So I'm going to measure that. Ooh, that's not good. So we're at actually, if you look in the Z axis as it says down here, we're setting at 235 millimeters. Yeah, that's not good. So we've got to fix that. Now again, I said 242. So I got about two millimeters in there to play with. Okay, well let's stop here for a moment and try to go back and change that fillet. So what I'll do now is do a control B. And I go down to that last fillet there, and what we're going to do is we're going to edit that fillet. And so we'll come up, and what I can do is on those last two edges, and we selected three and four, which would be these two right here, I'm going to go ahead and delete those. Hit delete. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now let's double check that measurement again. Looks like we're dead on. Okay. Well, there's a couple games I can play with this to create a transitional look from this point here back to there. I can do what's called a variable radius fillet. So, what I'll do right now is I will come up, rotate that around, and just take another good look at it. Let's rebuild our file and save it. Come back to this in a little bit.